Am I the asshole for not having my wife buried next to her long deceased husband as my stepson desired? My wife died three months ago suddenly after nine years of marriage. I was in charge of her funeral arrangements. We had one daughter together, F8, and her two kids from her previous marriage, M16 and F14, that I adopted. I had discussed her burial spot with my stepchildren and told them I wanted her buried in my family plot where I intend to be buried one day. My stepson said she would have wanted to be buried next to his biological father and her previous husband who died 12 years ago. My stepdaughter said she didn't care either way. I didn't want to disagree with my stepson on something like this so I looked into the cemetery where her previous husband was buried but found out there's only one adjoining plot next to his grave and no plot adjoining the adjoining plot meaning that I can't be buried there one day. I told this to my stepson, that I can't bear to not one day be laid to rest beside her. I know she loved her previous husband deeply, but she loved me as well. And I've only ever loved her and only ever will. He didn't agree and said she had always hoped to be reunited with her preview husband. We were at complete loggerheads over this but in the end it was my call and I made it. He was so upset with me and still is. He earlier said he needed time to get past this and now says he needs me to apologize. My stepdaughter thinks we shouldn't be having this fight because it doesn't matter what happens to anyone's body once they die. I want to apologize to him but I don't think he'll mean it. Even now I think it would have pained my heart so much if I'd listened to him. Info why didn't you consider cremation and splitting the remains so you and your stepson both have your wishes granted? Nah. There's no right answer to this, but in the end, Op is the adult and it's up to him to make this kind of decisions. For what it's worth, the stepdaughter seems the most reasonable one in the whole family. What happens when you remarry and die and your new wife doesn't want to bury you next to your first wife? Where does this madness end? Dear everyone, write this shit down. If you have wishes about this kind of thing, where you'll be buried, etc., write it down. Nah. I'm so sorry for all of your devastating losses. Apologize and try to make it right with him. See about cremation and burying half with each? See if you can move previous husband location to new area if stepson says okay and you could afford it? Buy enough plots for all now? Plant a memorial garden in his parents' honor? Ask him how you can make it up to him. His mom, your love of your life would be way more concerned about the relationship than where she was buried. Have you considered that she could be buried next to her first husband and after your death? You could be cremated and the ashes buried in the same plot? That is what my husband's family did when his stepdad died and there was no room for another grave in the family plot. The cemetery was willing to put a flat marker where his ashes were buried since the plot already had a tombstone for my husband's mom. His dad is also buried in the family plot, but when the plots were purchased, the family hadn't taken into account that his mom might remarry after his dad's death. Would I be the asshole for telling my daughter to stop being lazy and get her own coffee? I love my daughter but at the age of 41 she is so lazy it's unbelievable some examples are. She has delivery job which is nice but when she finishes I asks her to run into the store. She answers no I don't feel like walking. When we get home I make her food, she takes the food into the room and eats. When she comes down for a smoke I ask her bring her plate down. Then she says I forgot she goes back upstairs. Then later she comes back downstairs for another cigarette with no plate. I ask her to clean the toilets it takes her three months to do it. She only drinks Tim Horton's coffee. Every Sunday and Monday when I am off she wakes me up to get her a coffee. I am 72 and do everything for her I don't think it's ridiculous for me to tell her to get her own coffee and stop being lazy would I be the asshole if I said this. Edit. There seems to be a lot of confusion for good reason the story was poorly written. I will try to answer the question here I work with my daughter delivering packages. We go home to my other daughter's house of which I split the bills with my other daughter. My son a recovering addict moved in about 7 months ago. Every day I get my daughter a coffee 3 times every day. But what annoys me is that she wakes me up on my days off to go to a restaurant called Tim Horton to get her a coffee. She does not have any illnesses or anything. Not the asshole but you raised her, presumably, so partially your fault. She's 41 though, she should have moved out 20 years ago. Stop making her food, stop making her coffee. Unless, she's the one housing you and paying the bills and then I might feel a bit different. Why WNBTA for that?
but you are the asshole for enabling her to be like this. Sounds like she should have been told no and not more in her life before now. Info. Why have you been enabling your middle-aged daughter? Not the asshole. My favorite response is, do you have a piano tied to your dollar dollar? Or, is there something wrong with your legs? But that might be my Gen X snarkiness. Tears of joy. Ask her gently how she's going to manage when you're not around. She needs to be able to function alone and have some friends and family she can be around. If she is very forgetful or finds it hard to do basic stuff for herself, maybe she needs to be evaluated and see if she needs help to learn how to manage herself. This has to be fake. Am I the asshole for not giving my deceased son's belongings away? I, 54M, have three children, Lisa, 28F, Eric, 26M, and Arwin, 16M. In April, Arwin unfortunately passed away in a MBC. I have a very strained relationship with Arwin's mom. We split up a long time ago and a few years ago she gave me the full custody of him because she wanted to concentrate on her new relationship. She has two more children, 10 and 6M. Arwin didn't leave much behind when he passed away. His car was totaled, and what was left was his Apple phone, laptop and watch and his PS5. All his things are in his room, untouched. Sometimes, though, I go through his phone just to take a glimpse of his life that ended too soon and too tragically. Arwin was very close with Lisa and Eric, and a few weeks since he passed away, they came over. I offered them to take some of his stuff. They picked some shirts and some hoodies. Eric also took his sneakers since they shared the love for brand name sneakers and the shoe size as well. When Arwin's mom found out about it, she contacted me to ask if she could take some of his stuff as well. I was very skeptical about it since she never had a good relationship with Arwin, but I let her come over anyway. She went through the remaining stuff and asked if she could take his gadgets. I told her no. Maybe it's selfish of me, but I'd like to keep all the memories preserved. His laptop has his high school paper draft that he never finished. His phone has the pictures of him smiling and his texts to his friends. His PS account has all his achievements in computer games. She became visibly upset and said that I'm being unfair and selfish and that she could use his gadgets. I told her that it's impossible to use them because she'd need to log out of his Apple ID account first and no one knows the password anymore. She became even more upset and accused me of hoarding his things. I told her that she could pick something else, some of his school awards or whatever. She said that I'm being unfair and called me an asshole. Now I'm left wondering if I actually am one. Not the asshole. I'm sorry if this sounds harsh but she gave up on him for her new relationship. Also it sounds like she just wants his electronics to give to her kids. She sounds like the selfish one. You just lost your child and she's asking for his video game consoles. She can kick fucking rocks. I'm so sorry for your loss, op. Not the asshole. You want to preserve the memories on his electronics, she doesn't. Your other children chose items. You gave her other options if she doesn't want them then she made her choice. Sorry for your loss and suffering. Hopefully you and your other children are doing well. Holy crap. She literally came to her dead son's room to scavenge for electronics for herself and new kids? WT actual F. In what world could you ever be the ah? Uh? Shut that shit down. Why do you care what a vulture like this thinks? I'm so sorry for your loss. Please do not burden yourself further with any more thoughts on the carrions of life. You have enough real things to deal with. Ah, Arwen's mom is upset you didn't want to let her take her dead kid's electronics so she could use them herself. She didn't want to have them so she could remember him fondly, you know that, right? You know she will take them and wipe them, just to make more room. And NND, your last connection to the child that woman abandoned to you will be gone. She is upset. And so what? What do you even care? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She did not have a relationship with her own child and now wants to take his electronics. Not in memory of said child, but for her own children now. Not the asshole. She wants his electronics to give to her other children, not to remember Arwen. Either that, or to sell them. Call me cynical, but why else would she want those items specifically and not something with more sentimental than monetary value? Am I the asshole for not naming my children after my in-laws? My husband and I, 33M and 31F respectively, have a 3Y, O, 
son, and are trying for a second child soon. My father passed away the day I found out I was pregnant with my son. So my husband and I agreed to give my dad's middle name, Hayden, to our son. This caused a bit of a fuss with my Phil, who said he was hoping I would honor him in naming our child. But I repeatedly told him the names my DH and I picked for our children would not mesh well with any of his names. I didn't mention that we didn't want to carry the James name tradition on anymore nor did I like the name Martin. Now that my DH and I are trying for a second child, the argument has come up again about bestowing a family name to honor my father-in-law upon our second child should it be another boy. We already have another name set picked out for another boy, and this one honors my grandfather who passed before I was born. The name we have chosen flows very well with my grandfather's name, and my DH agrees it would be a great choice. My father-in-law made a comment to me about having to die before he'd get a child named after him, to which I made it abundantly clear that neither I, my DH, nor his other son and his partner have any obligation to name any of our children after him. This has caused a huge rift in the family, and my mother-in-law has pleaded with me to reconsider and allow father-in-law the pride of having a child named after him. I am standing my ground and keeping all the names we have picked as they are. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole why does he assume he would be honored over your family? How presumptuous of him. They named their own kids, they don't get to name yours. Stand your ground. Not the asshole. Naming a child is the parents and only the parents prerogative. Who wants to name a child after a whiner anyway? Not the asshole why isn't your husband dealing with him though? Not the asshole, but I don't understand why this is even a topic of discussion with the in-laws. And it's too late now, but I especially don't get why you would tell the in-laws your plan for the second baby, knowing full well what happened the first time around. Anyway, from now on, don't give any reasons or explanations. Just say, this topic has been covered and is no longer up for discussion. If they press on, then hang up, leave the room etc. I can kinda see why he's upset but he doesn't get to dictate your baby names. Why tell him you're naming kid too after your dead grandfather? Father-in-law sees that you've honored your side of the family twice now. If it were me, I'd be, quietly, salty over the snub of my side of the family. I wouldn't expect my name specifically to be used but maybe someone on our branch. You've shown that using names is a way of honoring family members and wonder why that side feels dishonored. Not the asshole. I hate dynasty names, it puts pressure on a child to live up to the legacy of whoever has gone before them. I strongly believe in giving children their own names, 